America in Another World. Chapter 133 The End. Written by Ron the Black Cat. Offshore of the island where the monsters originated. The boy didn't seem to have actually harmed anyone other than blowing everybody off of their feet. The engineers on the island were standing back up and moving as quickly away as possible. The boy started rising into the sky. Raymarize watched through a pair of binoculars. That is definitely not a normal kid. The boy's eyes landed on their ship. He stretched out one of hands towards them. Raymarize looked out of his binoculars and at his lieutenant. Up, uh, lieutenant, I don't really like. A blue beam shot out of the boy's hand and right at the USS Hopper. At first, nothing seemed to have happened. There was no explosion or noise. Raymarize looked over the side of the ship just as alarm started blaring on the destroyer. A gaping hole could be seen. He just blew a hole in the side of the ship. Shouting started. Abandon ship. The ship is sinking. As Raymarize looked back up, he noticed another person, a woman, had just appeared in the sky over the island. The boy fired a beam at the woman. The woman blocked the boy's beam. The woman smiled and shouted. Mom and Dad are back early. You are in so much trouble for trying to do a challenge. A look of surprise washed over the boy's face. The woman suddenly appeared in front of the boy. She slapped the boy in the face and then grabbed the boy. With a swing, she threw him up into the sky. The boy seemingly rocketed towards the clouds. She clapped and a shockwave came out of her. Something seemed to slam into the destroyer as the shockwave. Nothing seemed to have happened again until Raymarize looked over the side of the ship again. Hey, we aren't sinking anymore, and the hole is gone. His lieutenant shook his head. I wish we stayed on Earth. 0605 June 21, 2020 CE. Air Force One, currently over Nevada. In the conference room, an advisor was giving a rundown on the situation on the island. We have just received a report that the woman has appeared over the island and dealt with the boy. Dealt with him how? Ronell questioned. It seems that she threw the boy up into, gah! The advisor shouted in surprise as the woman appeared in the conference room again. She waved. Hello there, once again. Sorry about my younger brother. I have fixed the damages he has caused and sent him back to my parents' realm. Everyone in the room just stared at her. She coughed. Now where were we, far yes. I am the one who sent your country to this world. Ronell sighed. And who exactly are you? The woman bowed as she began. I am Inera, the one who manages this world. So you are the goddess of this world? Correct. Ronell gave her the side eye. Okay, and how am I supposed to know you are telling the truth? Inera shrugged. Due to restrictions, I am not allowed to show much of my significant powers. The basic things I can do right now is create things and teleport anywhere in this world. I guess you are just going to have to trust me. Ronell rubbed his chin. Well, can you answer why we were sent to this world? It's mainly due to my younger brother, Odal dear. Since he killed everything in his world, he wanted to mess with mine so he challenged me. Those monsters came from his world. Due to restrictions, I wasn't allowed to interfere. However, based on challenge rules, I'm allowed to pick a hero from another world to be put into my world against the challenger. Turns out there was no definition of what the hero was so I picked an entire country. Ronell looked a bit upset. So this entire thing was a sibling dispute except this was the divine type? Inera nodded. I believe that would be a fitting description. Ronell just frowned. You know what? I don't even care at this point. It already happened and I'm in no interest in picking a fight with a divine being. Just, are you able to send my country back to our world? About that, I would like to offer you a few options as a token of thanks for your involuntary help. And what would that be? Inera smiled. 
your country can stay in this world for however long you want. Either forever or for a period of time. If your country wants to go back now, I can let you go back now. I can send your country back to your world at the moment right as your country disappeared. Or I can send your country back whenever you want. You can even request I send your country back after a certain time. Your country is welcome in this world. Ronel stayed quiet for a few moments. The rest of the conference room stared at him before he spoke. How can you let us think about it? Inera nodded. Of course. How do we contact you once we have made our decision? Oh, just say my name and I should appear. Well, thanks for helping me so much. See you whenever you call for me then. After Inera finished speaking, she just disappeared from the room. Ronel rubbed his head. I want everything that was said in this room, her identity, and that entire situation that happened on the island to be kept top secret. No need to release any of this information. Make sure the people involved know. Understood, sir. Now, gentlemen, I guess it's time to make a decision. 